hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this firefox logo animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin to create this logo animation we are going to use two softwares adobe photoshop and adobe after effects so if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe Photoshop. I have this logo file over here. So first thing we need to do, we need to remove this white background. So for that, I'm going to go in my select option and I'll choose color range. With the help of the speaker, I'm going to select this white color and then simply hit OK and simply delete it. Hit Ctrl D to deselect this thing. Now we need to separate all of them. So for that first thing first, I'm going to choose my rectangle marker tool and I'm going to select this much portion. Then I'll hit Ctrl X to cut it down, create new layer and press Ctrl Shift V to paste in place. And same things we need to do for all of them. So now I'm going to choose my lesser tool. So shortcut key is L and we can select this kind of stuff and hit Ctrl X, create new layer, press Ctrl Shift V and let's hide this. So it's going to be easy for us to select our things. Select this layer, hit Ctrl X, create new layer, press Ctrl Shift V then i'm gonna choose this r Control x new layer press Control shift v hide it then now time of this e then this f make sure to select this properly then i'm gonna select this o then this x is already on the separate layer so we don't need to do that now i'm gonna save this file over here now we will go to the adobe photos i mean adobe after effects and we will create new composition and we will call it as main animation width is 1920 height 180 frame rate is 30 duration is 10 seconds and background color is white and simply hit ok and hit ok like this and go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title save action then press ctrl i on your keyboard and select this photoshop file and import as instead of footage i'm going to choose composition return layers and sizes and simply hit import and hit ok double click to open this composition i'll hit ctrl a to select all of them then i'll hit ctrl c to copy them then i'll go to my main animation and i'll hit ctrl v like this let's bring this somewhere around over here now if you see the height is uh, height of each and every one is too much so for that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create one null object i'll go to the new and i'll choose null object then i'm gonna select all of them and i'll make it apparent with this null object then select this null object press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around over here like this okay so let's hide this thing for now and we don't need those alphabets right now so i'll hide them we need to care about this thing portion only then i'll press ctrl r to create this ruler and i'll bring one line over here and one line over here so it's going to be easy to decide where should be the last position of it then i'm going to select this orb and i'm gonna go in align option and i'll choose align horizontally and align it vertically properly so let's move this over here okay now this portion is at the center of our circle like this okay so this portion is properly at the center now we have to create certain ellipse so for that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select my ellipse tool and i don't want any stroke for this so let's delete this stroke for the fill color i'm gonna choose with the help of the speaker i'm gonna choose this color and hit ok and let's create one ellipse over here by holding shift so it will gonna be a proper circle like this and then select this ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align time align it horizontally select this shape layer hit ctrl d press p for position and let's bring this over here go to the fill option select this ip color and i'm going to select this color and hit ok press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this select this hit ctrl d press v and let's move this over here press s and scale it down like this and let's move this over here like this and now 
go to the fill option select the speaker and i'm going to select this color like this okay now i'm going to select this shape layer i'll hit ctrl e i'll bring this at the top and i'm going to bring this in middle of this one press s for scaling option and scale it a little bit go to the fill i'm going to choose this speaker and i'm going to choose this color like this okay so this thing is done now we don't need that null object so i'll delete that null object because we have successfully adjusted the size of our logo now if you hide this as you guys can see we have this three ellipse now we have to animate this but before that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna right click over here new and i'm gonna create one null object now by default is null object at the center and that is what we want now i'll hit ctrl d and i'll bring this in the middle of this two shape layers again i'll hit ctrl d i'll bring this in middle of these two shape layers i'll hit ctrl d and i'll bring in middle of these two layers now as you can see our sequence is like shape layer null object shape layer null object shape layer null object and shape layer null object okay so i'm gonna select my eighth layer and i'm gonna make it apparent with this null object which is at the seventh layer same procedure i'll follow for the sixth one th and make it apparent with this fifth one four one should be parent with the third and second one should be parent with the first one why i did this we will see in a few minutes so now let's select all the shape layers and then press p for position and create one keyframe go to around one second and create another keyframe now go to the start and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring this position of this ellipse out of this composition so if i see this animation i'll get something like this now select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this totally up to here so we'll get something like this let's move these keyframes a little bit back forward so we'll get something like this now from this point i want they should start to rotate so i'll select all the null object by holding ctrl i press r and create one keyframe then i'll go to around 3.15 frames and then let's make this three complete revolutions like this okay so hit you and now i'm gonna press r so i can only see my rotation keyframes and select those rotation keyframes and simply hit f9 so if i see this animation i'm gonna get something like this okay now hit u again now select the shape layers like this press s for scaling option create one keyframe over here and at 3.15 frames i'll make it complete zero and select those keyframes and hit f9 to easy this out like this and if you want then you can change the duration of them little bit like this okay now select this shape layer and this null object press ctrl shift c and let's call it as one and hit ok select these two ctrl shift c and let's make this two select this press ctrl shift c and let's make this three select this two press ctrl shift c and let's call it as four now zoom in a little bit go to five frames select the second layer i mean the second composition move this over here move this over here move this over here so if i see i'm gonna get something like this okay now we have to create some reveal animation for this logo also so let's hide all of them and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select my ellipse tool and this time i don't want any fill so i'll delete this fill i want only stroke and for the stroke color you are free to choose any color because that doesn't matter for reveal animation and by holding shift let's create one ellipse and let's decrease the stroke width press ctrl alt home again select this ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this let's go inside this contain ellipse one stroke one and line cap i'm gonna choose round cap like this okay now let's go to the add menu and i'm going to choose trim path go to the trim path let's make this zero initially create one keyframe hit u go to around let's say 1.15 frames and let's move this 100 so we'll get this kind of animations and hit f9 like this now go to 1.15 frames select the shape layer hit ctrl d press s and scale it like this and also increase the stroke width a little bit 
press S and scale it like this. Again, select the shape layer with Ctrl D, press S and scale it somewhere around like this and also increase the shape stroke width. Okay, now select those three layers and hit U. So we can see we have this animation. Now we have to add rotation animation on it. So press R for rotation, create one keyframe. Hit U, go over here and let's make this 180 rotation let's make this 270 and let's make this one complete rotation so i'm gonna get this kind of rotation animation also now select all of them hit f9 so we will get this kind of rotation animation select all these three layers and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as mask and hit ok let's bring this downwards select this logo i'll hit enter and let's call it as logo so we can easily recognize Select this, hit enter, and let's call it as mask only. Select this logo and choose alpha map. So if I see, I'm going to get this kind of rotation animation. Now select this logo, press R for rotation, create one keyframe over here. Go to around two seconds and let's make this one complete rotation. Select those keyframe, hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph by holding shift. Let's move this handle over here. So we'll get this kind of revealing animation for this logo. Okay, so now this is about the logo reveal. Let's select both of them and let's move them somewhere around over here. Now we have to focus on these things. So for that, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select this first layer and let's go to the effect and presets panel and search for eco effect and simply double click to apply. Eco, number of echoes, I'm going to choose 30 and in eco operator let's choose this maximum and eco time second all we need to do we need to remove this first three and let's make this zero and simply hit ok so now if you see this animation we'll get something like this now let's select this eco hit ctrl c to copy select all of them and hit ctrl v like this so if you see this animation from the start make sure to do not use full resolution in preview so it will take a little bit time to preview entire animation you can choose either quarter or the third one also so it will come a little bit faster and now at this point i'm going to select this logo and i will move this over here so it will start to appear from here or you can move this over there also like this so if you see we will get something like this and you can move this up to here also so we'll get this kind of animation like this and you can bring this here also it's totally up to you you can go wherever you want and if you want then you can select this and if you want to make it a little bit longer, you can simply increase the number of echoes. Then it will animate according to the number of echoes. So if you steal this animation from the start, it will take a little bit time to load if we increase the number of echoes like this. Let's select this one and change the number of equals to 80 or this one. Okay, so we will get something like this. And after this animation is done, I'm gonna select all of them and I'll press Ctrl Shift C and I'll call it as logo me and hit OK. Then I'm gonna press P for position. Let's create one keyframe over here. Now I'm gonna reveal all of these alphabets and simply move this over here press p for position create one keyframe then press t for opacity create another keyframe and hit u and go to around 5.15 frames again create all the keyframes and also select this main logo and let's move this over here like this now go initially select all the alphabets and let's bring them over here select let's select all the alphabets hit f9 and initially let's make this zero and at this point i mean at the last point let's make this 100 
so you get something like this also select this keyframe and hit f9 select all of them hit f9 again go to the graph editor select this graph holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so if you see we will get something like this now let's go over here hit page down button let's select this alphabet move this over here hit page down move this over here page down move this over here page down so we will adjust it somewhere around like this so i'm gonna get this kind of animation first this and then this so and then hit n and hit u then press ctrl y to create one solid background layer and let's move this over here so if you see this animation from the start we will get something like this so this is how you can simply create this kind of animation with the help of adobe photoshop and adobe after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned